Scott Lebedo is a man on a mission. He's on a cross-country road trip turning rooftops into flags. And this weekend, he was in Cedar City. Good stuff about Cedar City. Patriotic town, real American town, beautiful town. And uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Once he arrives in town, Lebedo begins searching for a canvas. Came off the highway. Before I even seen this, the name of the place, I saw the roof pulled in. Got in touch with the owner. And I thought it was a little kooky. A uh, guy calls me up, says I've got the perfect canvas. My roof is the right size and shape and pitch and everything he needs to paint the American flag. I try to convince the owners of the establishment that I am not a snake oil salesman from New York. He's quite a salesman, talked me into doing it, and uh, I believe in his cause. And when he told me what it was for, and. Uh, uh, I was all for it. With permission granted, Lebedo goes to work. Using donated Sherman Williams paint, the first step is a coat of white. Fighting the Cedar City wind, Lebedo adds the red, white, and blue. I feel fortunate that, uh, you know, there's only one building in each state that he picks, one rooftop in Utah, and that's mine. And I, I feel pretty lucky that our paths crossed and that he picked mine. And what a difference a day makes. I was so worried. Last night I didn't sleep much on how it was going to turn out and how people would perceive it. And uh, But it's great. I mean, the cause and the reason he's doing it and his whole story. A patriotic tribute especially fitting this Memorial Day weekend. It looks great. I'm really happy with it. I'm excited. I had no idea it would come out this good. You know, it wasn't written on my birth certificate, you know. First Amendment, you're not born with it. People died, horrible deaths, and still do today. So it's the least I can do is, you know, take nine months, spend whatever money I had. I'm an artist, so I didn't have much anyway. Reporting in Cedar City, Russell Wilde, KCSG, Southern Utah's News Choice.